Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to another episode of your favorite podcast, guys. And in today's episode, I am going to uh, help you overcome the uh, problem of not being able to start because there might be one thing that you're doing right now that's actually preventing you from getting anything done. Okay. We, we've all been there. I go through that stuff for many uh, different fields. And it's probably that you're going through this stuff when it comes to starting an online business. And um, I'll say that the, the main reason why this happens is because of the plan. All right. So people will tell you that you don't get anywhere because you don't have a plan. Okay. So it's very true. If you do not have a plan, you plan to fail. There's an expression like this. Okay. So you do want to have a plan and a direction of how you're going to get there. And you have to try and kind of like simplify this plan so that they're not like 25 different steps. Okay. So that is the key. The key is having a plan. Okay. Um, so again, as I said, don't make a plan that's way too complicated because otherwise you're not going to be able to execute. Okay. But here's the thing, the plan that it's not everything. The plan could actually do a disservice to what you're trying to do. Okay. Because here's what happens. What happens is that you or we tend to fall in love with the plan and we tend to dwell way too long on the plan. And that is a terrible mistake. So you do need a plan, but you need to make sure that you don't dwell too much on the planning phase. Okay. There is a point where you have enough information to go out and get stuff done. And then it will validate or invalidate the plan. All right. So, um, I play board games, um, and, uh, there's this game that I play with friends. It's called TAC. Okay. And, uh, it's very interesting because, uh, some of these board games and some of these activities that you have in life, they're actually very, um, relevant to other things, but generally speaking, people don't necessarily associate things, but let me explain. So in TAC, you have a certain number of cards and then you have a partner and then you guys have a plan or something that you have to accomplish. Okay. And the guys on paper, the plan is marvelous. Okay. It's flawless. Oh man, it's going to work. <laughs> now the problem is other people have a plan as well. All right. And that plan, it, it, there's a very good chance that it conflicts with your plan and your plan does not take into account every possible variable or crazy stuff that these people are going to pull. So yesterday, for example, uh, we were playing and I mean, uh, everything was written, right? It was like, okay, I moved this one ball and that's it, end of the game. But then someone had other ideas and they moved me. And then next thing you know, that the whole thing goes out the window. Okay. So what I want to explain here is that the, um, uh, the, the plan is probably never going to actually manifest, right? What you have, what you think is going to happen. It is not going to happen this way. All right. So, uh, there is a saying like Mike Tyson, for example, uh, he said something, I think it was, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face, <laughs> which is very true. Okay. Because your plan is basically based on the, the best case scenario when everything goes well. So you can plan for contingencies, right? Okay. If this happens, then we do this. If this happens, then we do this. And obviously with enough experience and you've seen enough of these problems happen before those contingencies will be effective, but you cannot plan for everything. And you cannot assume that what you have on that paper that looks fantastic is going to work. Okay. Um, I was watching this, uh, uh, boxing, uh, match yesterday, like highlights, right. Of uh, a guy named, uh, Vasily Lomachenko, very, very good uh, boxer. Anyway. So at the end of the, so he won the fight and at the end of the fight, then you have an interview and the other person was interviewed and the guy said, Hey, look, we prepared, we had a plan and we prepared against, you know, his weapons that, you know, he usually does this, blah, blah, blah. We had a plan, but well, it turns out that the plan went out the window the second they, the guy started to get punched in the face, in the stomach and everything, right? And that's very, very symptomatic. So, um, you just have to understand that, uh, 
the the truth and the actual data are actually on the field. It's not on the paper, right? You do need a plan because otherwise you're going nowhere. But do not think that whatever you have on that paper, on the board or on a, a diagram or something, that this is set in stone and this is going to happen because most of the time it is not, right? And so a lot of people uh, just get stuck on that planning phase. Uh, oh, let me plan for this. And then you realize that, oh, wait, but this could happen and let me plan for this and, and stuff like that. And then you get new information. Oh, wow, well, let me integrate that new information in my plan and everything. And then you never start. I, I met so many people who told me, hey, man, I'm going to start this thing. And, blah, and then, you know, a year later, I asked them, where are you with this? Oh, no, I haven't started. I'm still thinking about blah. And I'm like, well, go and execute. You know, like, go and execute. It doesn't have to be perfect because nothing is going to be perfect from the beginning. Okay? Go execute. The field, the punches in the face, right? They will tell you way more than the planning that you can do on paper. Right? Now, I'm saying this because naturally, this is uh, kind of like how I'm built. I'm also built to um, uh, kind of like analyze every possible aspect and contingency plan and, and stuff like that. This is how I'm built naturally. So I basically have to, um, you know, try not to be myself and try to execute more. And this is why um, I have people in my circle, people who just go out and they execute. And sometimes I'm like, Dude, you had zero information. How do you go in there? And they just execute and they they manage to move fast and change direction very fast because they have the data, okay? That you do not have if you keep planning and planning and planning and postponing. And also, well, there's a new technology that came out. Let me plan for that one, etc. Okay? So my message for you is planning and talks and uh, promises and stuff do not matter what matters is action action go on the field and do it this is what matters you can talk all you want about oh i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that i'm planning on doing this i'm planning on doing that blah blah, blah. how many people have told you well i am planning on doing this and then they never do anything right go ahead and do it do it fast do it cheap it doesn't have like it doesn't have to cost you a lot of money Okay, because you know, we always assume because I've seen people, they plan and they plan and they plan and there is this big budget. Oh, let me put like 10 grand in ads and people tell you, what do they tell you? Look, under four grand of ad stand, you have zero data, but right? this is where you probably heard this. So you have to spend money to acquire the data with ads. Okay. And, uh, and basically they make this big, massive plan. They go out, they they spend like five grand, and then they realize that, oh my God, that doesn't work, okay? Don't do that, all right? Find a way to get the information super fast and action, 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 okay? Now, obviously, again, as I said, you need to have a plan, okay? But it doesn't have to be like super detailed with, you know, 20 million variables, okay? Is you have an hypothesis, all right? And then from this hypothesis, you're going to build a very simple plan and then you execute the plan, right? Because that's the thing. That is the, uh, the, the key difference here is this, is most people, when they have a plan, they have certainty. Well, or what they think is certainty. This is the plan. This is going to work. This is what's going to happen. All right? That's most people. What you want to have is an hypothesis. I think that this is going to happen and I'm willing to test it out. And if it doesn't work or if it's not the best way to do it, I am willing to adapt so that I can reach that goal. And that is for me, if you ask me, it's a million times better because it will give you that even for your, uh, your own uh, mental health as well. Because if you have that certainty that it's supposed to work, if it doesn't work, then you feel like an idiot. You feel like, oh, you don't deserve this and blah, blah, blah. And then that will, it will mess up with your brain. If it's an hypothesis, the hypothesis is, hey, there's, there, this is what I think is going to happen. 
there is a good chance that this thing that this thing might work. Let me try it. Uh, but it, there is a good chance that it might not happen. So let me find out what will. Okay, and that makes a huge, huge difference. All right. So for anybody watching and um, and people who are like you have a hard time starting uh, anything and you feel like oh well I'm inadequate and stuff. It's simply because you're. It's probably because you're stuck at the plan level. All right. Don't get stuck at the plan level. Four minute an, uh, an hypothesis. All right. Okay. This is where I'm trying to go. Okay. Now I believe that this road might lead me there. All right. Now I have no certainty, but I'm willing to try. And let me try to go there fast. And if it's not the right route then maybe there is another one. And that way you are going to get started fast and then you're going to get started with the right mindset of, hey, if it doesn't work out, it's fine because there are other options, okay? And that will kill two birds with one stone. So um, this is some of the things that we do in our community. I will show people how I execute and stuff. So basically I have an hypothesis I will make a video, spontaneous video, telling the, the community, hey, look, I'm trying to do this. I have this hypothesis. Let me test it. And I will test it live. I will show you guys the results. This is what I'm trying to do. And then it turns out that, you know, you know, most of the time, maybe it doesn't work the way I want it, but then something else happens. And then guess what? I have this new way of doing things that I didn't consider in the beginning. Okay. So that is my message for you guys is do not get stuck in the planning phase and second thing do not go in with certainty i mean unless this is something that you've done like three billion times right you have a certain level of certainty I'm saying go there with a hypothesis mindset of that might work and if it doesn't work it's okay because it was an hypothesis and that will help you because if you're discouraged if you're demoralized you will stop if you are forming hypothesis, uh, plural, <laughs> then all you do is you're basically troubleshooting and you're just going to continue until you find the right one. And that is where you're going to find the success. Okay. All right. That is pretty much it for this episode, guys. I will see you in the next one. See you. Bye.